Welcome to Sonoma Wilderness Regional uh, Preserve and the Community Science BioBlitz program, which Christina uh, Parkinson, Parkinson will be uh, uh, hosting a little later here after our uh, uh, program, short program. Um, so the program that we have today is part of our 90th anniversary Explore Your Parks adventure series that the park is hosting this year with events throughout the uh, year, um, every month also throughout the year. There'll be some kind of adventure series program um, to get folks into nature. Uh, my name is Dave Mason. I am Acting Community Relations Manager for the Park District and our Public Affairs uh, Department. And I'll just kind of MC a little bit here today. Uh, we'll begin first, actually, with the land acknowledgement and recognition of the Native tribes uh, that preceded us uh, and who have cared for this land since time immemorial. I want to acknowledge that we are within the ancestral territory of the Towson peoples the lands currently within the East Bay Regional Park District fall within the territories of a diverse and resilient group of indigenous people who are descendants descended from Ohlone, Bay Miwok, and Delta Yokut ancestral tribes. Please join us in honoring with gratitude the land itself and the people who have stewarded it since time immemorial and continue to remain deeply connected to it today. So welcome everyone to the East Bay Regional Park District 90th anniversary year. Yay. Yes, a big 90 years. Uh, for 90 years, the East Bay Regional Park District has preserved and protected open space and provided a safe and welcoming parks uh, for recreation and nature discovery in Alameda and Contra Costa counties. Established in 1934, the Park District, park district is now one of the largest regional park districts in the nation with 73 parks available for hiking, biking, swimming, horseback riding, boating, fishing, picnicking, camping, nature discovery, and I'm sure there are many more. Uh, join us in celebrating the Park District's 90th anniversary milestones and history of environmental conservation and positive experiences in nature this year. We invite the public to explore their regional parks throughout the year and celebrate with us at planned 90th anniversary events and programs in many of our parks. Thank you again for coming. I'd like to introduce now uh, our board member, uh, Olivia San Wong, who was elected to the Board of Directors in November uh, 2022. Uh, Director San Wong previously served on the Park District's uh, Park Advisory Committee from 2015 to 2022, and also was elected to the Zone 7 Water Agency Board of Directors from 2018 to, 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 sorry, to 2022. I'd like to welcome Olivia. Hey everyone, good morning. This is so exciting to be here to celebrate the, the first you know, public event for the 90th anniversary for East Bay Regional Park District. That's a really incredible achievement. 1934 was a long time ago, right? It was um, during our Great Depression here in the United States. Uh, yesterday we had a full um, board retreat and executive leadership team retreat for East Bay Regional Parks District. And one of the conversations was who was president in 1934, in case you're curious, it was uh, FDR, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So that's how long ago we're talking about. And um, you know, I just wanna share a little bit about the park district. So we have over 126,000 acres that we um, manage in terms of open space and trails and parks. And that's a really huge amount. And I think it makes the park district this unique uh, regional park system that we're so proud of here in the East Bay. Um, we also have 55 miles of shoreline and over 1,300 miles of trails. Uh, across our two counties, Alameda and Contra Costa County, those are our service areas, uh, we serve 3 million residents and we receive an estimated 30 million visits annually because we, while we are in Alameda and Contra Costa counties, we get lots of people who uh, visit us from other parts of California, from other parts of the U.S., and other parts of the globe. I know uh, here in Sonoma, we probably get a lot of people from Santa Clara County, for example. Um, and also, technically, I think we are connected to some of the Santa Clara County parks. You know, if you were to hike over to the Mission Peak area, you could then uh, enter the Santa Clara County parks uh, on that route. So that's also very exciting to have those cross-county connections. Um, and you know, one of our goals, and we were just talking about this, talking with Dane about this, about having nature close to home. I think when you look at the map, which we have so many maps that you can look at over here, as well as our beautiful 2024 calendar and some other activity books, 
you'll see that we really make an effort to try to have a park, a regional park, close to where everyone lives. So, um, you know, if, if this is your nearby park, it's so exciting to have you here. And if you're coming to us from a little farther away, I think that's also really nice to have. And I know that we're gonna continue to have those efforts to have those, you know, parks close to your home and to have access to those parks. Um, so in terms of our story, we began in the late 1920s. There was thousands of acres of watershed land in the East Bay Hills. Um, and they became available for development. You know, a lot of this uh, originated with the East Bay Mud Agency. And so there was a recognition that this watershed <coughs> land needed to be preserved as open space because it helps make sure that we can maintain our water quality and then also for flood control purposes. Um, it, it's important to not, you know, pave over everything. Um, and so that's one reason why there was an effort to create the East Bay Regional Park District in 1934. And so there was a measure that was placed on the ballot that established our district and it passed by a resounding 71 percent. So June 4th, 1936, um, the park district acquired the land to create our first three parks, which are Upper Wildcat Canyon, which is now known as Tilden Park, Temescal, and Round Top, which is now Sibley. And so today we count 73 parks across our regional park system. And uh, here at Sunol, um, which we're going to celebrate as you know the first park of this 90th anniversary year uh, for me personally Sonola is so important you know I, I, I really am uh, interested in our water systems and our Alameda Creek watershed and Sonola and this creek right behind us is really this connecting point between the upper Alameda Creek watershed and the lower Alameda Creek watershed and it's this huge system that starts at Mount Diablo in fact, the headwaters for Tassajar Creek are at Finley Ranch Road, which was one of our major acquisitions uh, when I first started on the board a year ago, 2023. So that's where the headwaters start on Mount Diablo, comes all the way through the Tri-Valley region, through Sonola as our connecting point between the upper watershed and lower watershed, and then continues on into Niles, into Fremont, and then out into the San Francisco Bay at Coyote Hills. So it's really neat to see all these connecting points across our park district. So let's celebrate, you know, today with this bio blitz and uh, our first celebration of the 90th anniversary. Yay. Thanks everyone. Yay. Great. All right, well, that's kind of it. Thank you everyone for, for coming here. <laughs> yes, 90th anniversary. I can't beat what Olivia just said. <laughs> 90th, welcome to our 90th anniversary year. That's what it's all about. So uh, thank you everyone for coming. Christina uh, Park Isson will be uh, running the program here starting around 10 or whenever you want to get folks together. We're probably right around there right now um, to have this great community science BioPlitz program about getting folks into nature and kind of uh, looking at nature and how they can be part of the community science uh, community. So thanks everybody for coming.